Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Art Explained, the home of art, art history, stories, and art education for all who are interested. Step into a gallery of timeless treasures. Today, we're unveiling hidden secrets and enchanting stories behind some of the world's most famous artwork. Are you ready? Let's begin. Life Study, Study of an Egyptian Girl, 1891, by John Singer Sargent. Life Study, Study of an Egyptian Girl, 1891, is a lesser-known work by John Singer Sargent, an American artist renowned for his portraits. This artwork stands out in Sargent's oeuvre for several reasons. Unlike his famous society portraits, this work is a study of an Egyptian girl, showcasing Sargent's interest in different cultures and ethnicities. The painting reflects a more intimate, less formal style compared to his grand portraits. During the late 19th century, Orientalism was a popular trend in Western art. Artists were captivated by the allure of the East and often depicted scenes and people from these regions. Sargent's life study aligns with this trend, though it is more of a personal exploration rather than a commercial endeavor. This painting offers insight into the Western perception of Eastern cultures during the 19th century. It also serves as an example of how travel and exposure to different cultures can influence an artist's work. Seated Nude, 1884, by William Adolphe Bouguereau, is a notable work that exemplifies the artist's mastery of classical and academic painting. Bouguereau, a French artist, was celebrated for his realistic portrayal of the human figure, particularly in his depictions of the female form. Here are some details and interesting facts about this artwork. The painting is a testament to Bouguereau's exceptional skill in rendering the human anatomy, the delicate play of light and shadow on the skin, the realistic depiction of the female form, and the attention to detail in the figure's pose and expression showcase his technical prowess. Bougreau often painted mythological themes and idealized peasant girls. Seated nude, however, focuses solely on the beauty of the female form, devoid of any narrative context. This approach was typical of academic art, where the emphasis was on form and technique rather than storytelling. Venus Anadiomene by Titian, Venus Anadiomene, which translates to Venus rising from the sea, is a famous painting by the Italian Renaissance master, Titian, created around 1520-1525. This artwork is significant for several reasons and has an interesting background. The painting depicts Venus, the Roman goddess of love and beauty, emerging from the sea, a theme derived from ancient Greek mythology. This subject was inspired by an ancient Greek statue and a lost painting by the renowned ancient Greek artist Apelles, which was highly praised in classical literature. Titian's rendition of Venus Anadiomene is noted for its innovative portrayal of the female nude. Unlike earlier, more static representations, Titian's Venus is depicted in a natural, almost candid pose as she wrings water from her hair. This dynamic portrayal was groundbreaking and influenced many later artists. Titian's use of color and his loose, expressive brushwork are evident in this painting. His technique, particularly in the rendering of flesh and the play of light on the body, was revolutionary for the time and contributed to the development of the Venetian painting style. The Wave, 1896, La Vague. Location. Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. The Wave, 1896, by William Adolphe Bouguereau, is a captivating example of the artist's mastery in portraying the female form and his skill in capturing the delicate interplay of light and shadow. Bouguereau, a French academic painter, was renowned for his traditionalist style, and this painting is a testament to his ability to blend realism with a sense of idealized beauty. Some interpretations see the scene as a metaphor for the inevitability and unpredictability of fate, while others focus on the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. 
Bouguereau's work often reflected themes of mythology and classical antiquity, and the wave is no exception. The painting can be interpreted as a celebration of the beauty and power of nature, as well as an homage to the grace and elegance of the female form. It's a fine example of Bouguereau's skill in combining classical ideals with a modern sensibility, making his works highly admired during his time and still appreciated in contemporary art circles. The Dance of the Bacantes, 1849, by Charles Glair, is a fascinating artwork that reflects the artist's engagement with classical themes and his unique interpretation of them. Glair, a Swiss artist who spent much of his career in France, was known for his academic style and his influence on later Impressionist painters. The painting depicts Bacantes, who were followers of Bacchus, Dionysus in Greek mythology, the god of wine, festivity, and ecstasy. The scene captures the wild and ecstatic dance often associated with Bacchus's followers, embodying the spirit of unrestrained revelry and the subliminal connection with nature. The painting is notable for its dynamic composition and the skillful depiction of movement and emotion. Glare's ability to convey the energy and fervor of the Bacante's dance is a testament to his mastery of form and expression. Glare's work straddles the line between the romantic movement, with its emphasis on emotion and nature, and the more formal academic style. This painting likely embodies elements of both, combining rigorous technique with a more expressive subject matter. Allegory of Sacred and Profane Love, 1514, by Titian. Allegory of Sacred and Profane Love, 1514, is a celebrated painting by Titian a master of the Venetian Renaissance. This complex and enigmatic work is renowned for its beauty, symbolism, and the mystery surrounding its interpretation. Here are some details and interesting aspects of this artwork. The painting features two female figures, one clothed and one nude, seated beside a fountain. On the left is a landscape with a cupid, and on the right, a cityscape. The contrast between the two figures has been widely interpreted as representing the duality of sacred, spiritual, divine, love, and profane, earthly, sensual, love. The painting is rich in symbolic elements. The cupid stirring the water in the fountain, the rabbit symbolizing fertility, and the myrtle plant held by the clothed woman, associated with Venus and love, all contribute to the painting's allegorical meaning. There has been much debate among art historians about the precise meaning of the painting. While the general theme of contrasting loves is widely accepted, interpretations of the specific roles and symbolism of the figures vary. Some see the clothed woman as representing celestial love and the nude as earthly love, while others have proposed different readings. Albaid, 1848, by Alexandra Cabanel. Albaid, 1848, is a notable painting by Alexandre Cabanel, a prominent French painter known for his works in the academic style. This painting is significant for several reasons and offers a glimpse into Cabanel's artistic approach and the broader context of 19th century French art. Here are some details and interesting aspects of Albaid. The painting depicts Albaid a character from Victor Hugo's play Rui Blas, 1838. In the play, Albaid is a seductive and manipulative woman, a theme that Cabanel explores in his portrayal. The choice of a literary subject reflects the 19th century French artist's interest in romantic literature and drama. In summary, Albaid by Alexandre Cabanis is a fascinating work that reflects the artistic trends and cultural interests of mid-19th century France. It showcases Cabanel's skill in academic style and his engagement with contemporary literary themes, contributing to our understanding of this period in art history. The Bath, 1868, by Charles Glayer, is a significant work in the realm of 19th century art, showcasing the unique style and thematic interests of this Swiss artist. 
Glary, though less widely known than some of his contemporaries, played an important role in the French art scene, particularly as a teacher to many future Impressionists. Like many artists of his time, Glair was influenced by the principles of academic art, which valued technical skill, classical themes, and a polished finish. His work reflects these values while also incorporating a romantic sensibility. As a teacher, Glayer had a significant impact on the next generation of artists. His emphasis on classical techniques helped shape the early development of many artists who would later break with tradition to form the Impressionist movement. The Bath, by Charles Glayer, is a notable example of the transition period in art between the strict academic styles of the early 19th century and the more experimental approaches that would emerge later. Its serene beauty and technical mastery make it a noteworthy piece in the study of this era in art history. Lady in the Boudoir is an evocative painting by Delphine Enjolras, a French academic painter known for his depictions of elegant, refined women in intimate settings. This artwork is a classic example of his style and subject matter. Delphine Enjolras, 1857-1945, was trained at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. He was a student of watercolorist Gaston Girard and painter Jean-Léon Jérôme, both of whom influenced his style significantly. Enjolras specialized in genre scenes, focusing on portraits of women in domestic or private settings. His style is characterized by a delicate and refined realism, with a focus on capturing the play of light and shadow. Lady in the Boudoir depicts a woman in a private, personal space, her boudoir. The boudoir, a French term for a woman's private sitting room or salon, was a popular setting in 19th century art, symbolizing femininity and intimacy. Lady in the Boudoir is a quintessential example of Delphine and Jolres's artistry, capturing the essence of a moment in time with elegance and a meticulous eye for detail. Le Massage, 1883, Edouard de bas -Ponsant. Le Massage is a painting by Edouard de bas a French academic painter known for his historical and genre scenes. This work is particularly interesting within the context of 19th century French art for several reasons. Le massage depicts a scene of a woman receiving a massage. This subject is somewhat unusual for the time, as it portrays a private, intimate moment. The depiction of such a scene reflects the broader interest in everyday life and realism that was emerging in French art during the late 19th century. The painting is notable for its realistic portrayal of the human body and the sensuality of the scene. Debat Ponsan's ability to capture the texture of the skin and the relaxed posture of the woman being massaged showcases his skill in realism. The depiction of a massage, a luxury at the time, may also reflect the social and cultural milieu of the era, particularly the growing middle class and their lifestyle. It offers a glimpse into the private lives and leisure activities of the period. To ensure you don't miss our upcoming videos, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you very much.